Hello there, fellow scientists. Today, we have part two of the video and we're trying to find out what's the best money-making method between cooking, uh, time bending, no or uh, gardening. And but in the first part, if you haven't watched it, I'm gonna try to remember to put the card right here. You should watch part one before watching this part two because it's directly links into part one. In part one, we determined that the best method to make money in this game is going to be farming. If you want absolutely the maximum profits per hour, farming with 33 farming bodies makes you 11 million star coins per hour of work. Insanity, absolute insanity. And the time bending and cooking were pretty underwhelming. It got about 200,000 coins. Uh, you should watch the video for the f full details, but the time bending, we also we only counted the profits from uh, the time like bending parts themselves. Anything. However, of course it helps. the part of I the profits are going to. Why is there so many characters here? Sorry. Part of the profits are going to be the mist that we're getting from uh, from doing all of this. So, how do we make money from the mist? Well, there is two ways. There is ancient gardeners and there is ancient cookers. So, let's see how much money would we make from all the mist that we've collected from one hour of time bending? All right, now it's time to answer a very important question. What do you do with your mist? And that's a good question because uh, there is two ways you can make money using mist. Number one would be to use these little gardener machines to literally do everything. You use the mist to plant things. You use the mist to water things. I mean, water is in free and you use the mist to harvest them. So you could basically just come service this whole field and collect, uh, sell, sell things for the profits. And also there's another way that you can use mist to make money. And this one is going to be through ancient cookers, which I have sitting right here. Now, there's obviously a prep part. Once again, we're gonna be using souffles for ancient hook cookers. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna use souffle, so basically we're gonna have to stock up in the Remy shop lots and lots and lots of ingredients. You can just have like four large chests sitting outside, you can fill them up with ingredients. Uh, the best part about the cookers, they pull your ingredients from the chests. Same with uh, the gardeners, you're gonna have to stock up on seeds before you start this. So I'm gonna say that preparation part is equal doesn't matter we're gonna have to stock up on ingredients to use either and uh, basically it's infinitely scalable you can have as many cookers as you want actually I haven't tested this if you can have more than four cookers in the biome but it's, it's not important because you can only have uh, four gardeners per biome so we're just gonna compare one how much money can one Wait, machine make He's not gonna for me. a certain amount of time for example since you load it until you collect it, we're gonna compare the gardener and the cooker. So let's start with the gardener. So what does it take? I mean with a cooker We're gonna well first of all once you select the recipe that recipe is gonna be remembered So once I select souffle and I want to cook more souffles in this machine It's gonna remember it so I won't have to waste time on this same with the seeds It's gonna remember the last seeds you cooked so we're gonna out of fill this recipe. We're gonna start cooking. We're gonna cook. We can cook up to 30 meals so, uh, let me write this down somewhere. So, 750 mist is gonna cost to cook 30 meals. Each meal takes one minute. So, it's gonna take 30 minutes. It doesn't important. It's not important how long it takes. I mean, it kinda is, because you could do this more often than you would do the gardeners, which would take you four hours per pumpkin. So, it's like, way faster. So, 700 mist to make 30 meals and profit per meal is going to be 410 coins. This is the pure profit each souffle grants you. Now, you have to factor in the cost of coal, which thankfully is unlimited and easy to buy from Christ of Soul. So you can once again fill up a bunch of chests with it and never have to worry about it. And coal costs... Oh, it's five. Okay, so the profits per meal is going to be 405. I have bought like a billion coal. All of these chests were full of coal at one point, and I've been just using it for cooking stuff. 
so that is not a problem at all. So we have 405 multiplied by 30 mist by 30 meals. We're basically I'm just gonna calculate how much money can 1,000 mist make for you, and then I'm gonna I guess factor in how long will it take. And the math is 1,000 mist mist a cooker makes 16,200 coins for 1k mist that you put into machine and it takes 40 minutes if it's important to anybody let's do the gardener math all right so each machine has 35 spots it takes uh 10 mist to plant it and then 10 mist to harvest it so basically the total cost is going to be 700 mist so a little bit a little bit lower 700 mist plus the profits per pumpkin is going to be slightly lower too 389 let's make the math and the math is in it's gonna make you 19,450 coins per hour no sorry not per hour per thousand mist that you invest into this machine so it will make you more on pumpkins which is interesting, significantly more, almost over 3,000 coins more per machine. So if you load up all four machines, it's going to make you 12,000 more per whatever missed, uh, 4,000 missed that you're going to load in. But the caveat is going to work four hours versus 40 minutes, not, not even four hours, my bad. Approximately 5.7 hours. Oof. So, like, once again, I, I brought everything up to 1k mist so we could compare it. So this is how long the mist will take it. So it, it will make you more, more coins per mist, but it's going to take longer. So if you want higher speed, plus I'm pretty sure you can have more than four cookers in the same biome. Let me test that. Also, the cookers uh, do take a little bit more clicking because for some reason there is no... Whoops, that's the wrong... I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, for some reason, there's no way to uh, select, like, go all the way up to 25, as far as I know. Oh, wait, you can right-click, and it's going to go way faster. Ooh! Or just hold the button, it's going to go as much faster. That is... That is a cool find. I'm glad I found that. That makes, that makes me more biased towards this machine at this point. So, let's see. If I, if I can just hold... Uh, the cook button if i just cook hold the plus button I, I i don't think i can do it on the controller but on the mouse i can just hold the plus button and it just fills up really quick okay let's see if we can have five of these running yeah it doesn't seem like there's any limits whatsoever so you could have five of these things running at the same time probably even more i don't think there is a limit unlike gardeners only four plus gardeners take a lot of space you could have a whole room set up of these machines and they're going to be printing you insane amount of money like basically non-stop and giving you way more coins per uh way more coins per amount of mist and also but but you will have to recharge them a little bit uh more often which will allow you to make even more coins and also, it will take a couple extra clicks because you will have to keep a bunch of chests fully stocked with cheese, butter, and all, and all those goodies. But it's going to be making you lots of money. So let's say uh, we just found out how much coins we can make per thousand mists. So from our uh, time-bending session, we got... How much mist was it? 57,774 missed. How much extra money would this make us? And how long would it take to go through all this mist? Let's make the calculations. All right, the math is in and it, it just blows my mind. It would take... You would be able to make from just that mist using an army of auto cookers. Depending on how, how many auto cookers you have. But you will be able to make nine... 136,000 additional coins. So you made 213,000 coins from just bending, and you're going to make an additional almost million from using auto cookers. Now, obviously, the amount of time it will take you to actually do it much less, but if you're using one auto cooker, it's going to take you 38 hours. If you want to make it 
in about an hour, you're going to need 38 auto cookers, which you, you should have no problems crafting. If you if you spending uh, if you have thirty three time benders and doing a lot of time bending, so potentially as many auto cookers as you can afford, it's gonna be printing you money. You'll be able to 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 make one million coins an hour using souffles, using auto cookers. You're gonna need thirty eight, actually thirty nine, auto cookers. That is crazy! That is crazy, and you can just load them up, load them up. By the time you finish all 39, the first one already done cooking. One million coins per hour. Insanity. Alright, so we got the numbers, we got the results. Now, let's talk about it. So on paper, per pure amount of work that you have to do loading the machines and stuff uh it seems like gardening does a little bit more coins you you will be able to get a couple thousand more per machine uh if you if you go the, the gardening route however a few things to keep in mind the gardeners do require space so you will have to have a giant farming square in a biome in order to accommodate the gardeners Second of all, you can only have four of these per biome. So if you want to run a large-scale operation and uh, convert a lot of mist into money through gardeners, it's going to take a ridiculous amount of running around because you, you're going to have to have multiple biomes having these spots and you'll have to do a lot of teleporting and running around, which might not make it very convenient. Plus, you might forget which biome you've already been to and then you're going to have to go to the same biome again and realize that you already just did this machine. And and then you'll have to wait for like certain amount of time if you're doing pumpkins. It's like four hours to come back and collect everything, which most likely you won't. So the machine is going to stand for way longer, ready to be harvested. You, you you get where I'm going here. I'm I'm camp uh, ancient cooker. I think ancient cooker, even though it does a little bit more money, uh, I mean less money per load and per thousand uh, mist. I think the convenience factor is absolutely mind blowing, and you can still get, as we just discovered, over oh, a, almost I a million uh, a million coins from one hour of time bending. So if you put all of the mist from time bending that you got into ancient cookers and just cook souffles, you're gonna make almost an additional million coins per hour, which is still not even close. Not even close to, uh, what you call it? The farming. Not even close to the farming, uh, but the question you have to ask yourself, do you need 14 or what is it? 11 million coins per hour from farming. Like who? can possibly need this many coins. I feel like 11 million coins is going to last you for probably a whole year, if not longer. So I feel like 1 million coins per hour is more than reasonable. Plus, another benefit of using ancient machines and not uh, gardening itself is going to be, well, first of all, you have choices. You have choices because uh, there is also memories in the game. And if you go in ancient machines, you can do cooking. While you do cooking, you're going to definitely max out your cooking memory collection. Because these guys drop your cooking memories. And you can run basically unlimited amount of these. I, I want to make... If you guys want to see that crazy video when I cook like 50 ancient cookers and make like a whole giant cooking area. it's It's turning like... It's starting to become like a Stardew Valley where we have the kegs everywhere and they're just sitting there making money. This is going to be Distant Room like Valley with Asian cookers. That that's just amazing. Uh so so yeah, you can have unlimited at least I mean I haven't tested about unlimited, but I know we can have at least five, which is more than we can have gardeners. And these guys don't take much space. You don't need a giant field around each of them, so very space efficient. And uh, if you do want to get some cook, uh, some gardening memories, you can still do this. You can run one gardener, for example, and a bunch of cookers. And if you want to, like, you can have it, like, all set up together. So you can farm gardening memories and you can farm cooking memories, all using, pretty much having only time benders. 
Now, you might be asking another question. Why not have half of your villagers as time benders and half of your villagers as farmers or anything else? Well, the thing is, before, that would be a great idea. Before, you, you would not get... Uh, the more villagers you have in the same profession, you would be getting the more and more diminishing returns. Well, now it's no longer the case. Now it's actually uh, exponential returns. So having half of your villagers at one profession and half of your villagers on the other profession is going to cause four times loss. Sorry, not four times. Two times loss of resources. You would be getting four and four on each profession of extra drops. If you have all of the villagers in the same profession, you'll be getting 16, which is four times more, which is twice. Because two fours equals eight. Eight is half of 16. So you're going to be losing 50% efficiency if you go half and half. So in my opinion, if you want to go as, as efficient as possible, you got to go uh, everybody in on one profession. You're going to be gaining extra 100% efficiency, which is insane. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, the time bending is the thing to go. It's it's hard it's hard to convert everybody into the time benders, but you should watch a video about the time bending secret, how to make your journey much easier, how to increase the drop rates of the parts that you actually need to craft time bending manuals. The point is, once you get 33 time benders, you can do anything. You can make money, you can make food, you can make uh, memories. Uh, it's it's just the most versatile profession. And in this point of this game, I feel like having 33 time benders is just the, the most efficient way to go. And then uh, if you want to make money, the cookers, as we just proved, is going to be the best bet. They're just so easy. You can have a, a whole setup, a bunch of large chests full of ingredients, uh, full of coal. And then you just go through these guys, load them up, and then you go collect them, get some memories, get some monies, and just bam, bam, bam. And you're rich. And you're rich. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a ginormous money printing setup with lots of uh, ancient cookers and chests and stuff. It's just just going to be an absolute money printer in Disney Gym Lake Valley. I would love to set that up. If you want to see that, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts? Do you agree that the time bending is the best profession, even though it doesn't make the most money? It's just, it can be so versatile and it can help you accomplish so many goals. However, I will admit that the best profession for anybody is going to be the profession that you enjoy doing the most. If you absolutely despise time bending, if your finger gets tired of mashing the button, which is, honestly, I had that problem. I cannot do a lot of time bending in a row, especially if you have carpal tunnel, it's going to be hell. And unless they fix and, and make it possible to just hold the button, time bending might not be for everybody. And I respect that. And in that case, definitely don't go for time bending. Go for something that you actually enjoy and that does not ca cause you physical pain. In that case, having 33 time benders... Actually, having 33 time benders in that case might be beneficial because you'll have to do less time bending to do the same amount of resources. So I don't know. I don't know. Wh which which route are you going to go? Let me know in the comments. Which profession? Are you going to have half and half? Are you going to have a little bit of everybody? Or are you committing to one profession and turning all of your villagers into that profession? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe for this channel. We're so close to 29,000 subscribers. I'm going to make an absolutely the most epic touch of magic dress you have ever seen as soon as we reach 29k so let's make that happen thank you so much for watching check out the new merch with a snack in the comments i mean in the description and goodbye